This tutorial discusses the procedure for searching for law review and law journal articles on Hein Online. Hein Online is often preferable to other online databases because it provides true PDFs of journal content, including graphics such as charts or graphs, which may be absent in other online databases. When searching for law journal articles in Hein Online, we have three main search options. We can perform a quick search across Hein's law journal library, we can search by specific fields, and finally, we can perform an advanced search using Boolean operators. Let's try a quick search first. One way to access Hein Online is through the UC Hastings Law Library homepage. From our homepage, click on Online Databases, click on the letter H, and click on Hein Online. This tutorial deals with searching law reviews and law journals, and so once we are in Hein Online, we'll click on Law Journal Library, and then on the Search tab at the top of the screen. Let's pretend we are searching for articles on the topic of implicit bias in the courtroom. We might want to enter the phrase implicit bias in quotation marks followed by the words AND in all capitals and the word COURT. It is important to note that in Hein Online, Boolean operators, that is the words AND, OR, and NOT, must be capitalized. Once we hit search, you will see that our list of results is quite large, almost 1,000 matches. We can be even more specific and search for articles with certain terms in the title by going back to our search tab and entering, for example, the word title, colon, implicit bias, in quotation marks. You can see that our title search pulls up 29 results, a much more manageable number. We can also use proximity searching. For example, we can search for all articles in which the term implicit bias appears within five words of the word court. We can do this by typing from our original search screen the term implicit bias followed by the tilde symbol, that's the little squiggly mark in the upper left hand corner of your keyboard, followed by the number five and the word court. If our search results were unsatisfactory, from here we could click on Modify Search if we would like to change or add search terms. We can also start over and enter a new search entirely by clicking on New Search. And if we simply want to narrow down our search results, we can click on Search Within Results, where we can then limit our results to particular journal titles or limit by subject area, type of content, date range, etc. In addition to our quick search, we can also search by specific fields. To search by field, we would again click on our search tab within Heinz Law Journal Library. Once in the search tab, we would click on field search in the upper left hand corner of the page. When searching by field, we can choose to search for specific words or terms within the entire article. For example, if we wanted to find only articles in which the term implicit bias appears in the title, we can choose article title and input our term. As you can see, we get almost 30 results. From this screen, and as with our quick search, we can then start a new search, modify our search, or search within our results set. Finally, we can perform an advanced search. Once again, we can start from the Law Journal Library page and click on Advanced Search in the upper left-hand corner. Advanced searching allows us to search across more than three fields at a time using Boolean operators. For example, if we'd like to find all articles written on the topic of implicit bias in the courts written by our own David Fegman in the last, say, 10 years, we can create a search string something like this, title, colon, implicit bias in quotes, capital A-N-D, courts, capital A-N-D, creator, colon, Fegman, capital A-N-D, date, colon, 2003 to 2013 in brackets. And as you can see, we will get one result. This has been a brief overview of searching for law review and law journal articles in Hein Online. For further assistance with Hein Online searching, please contact one of our UC Hastings Law Library reference librarians at our reference desk or by telephone, chat, or email.